In this episode, we wrap up laminating the ballast keel, the lower shaft alley assembly, the horn timber, and then the lower and upper shaft alleys are cut out. Hi, I'm Bill England and welcome to the Ambler Odyssey's YouTube channel. I am vlogging the build of a George Bueller design 48 foot wooden troller yacht here in my Summerside, Prince Edward Island, Canada backyard boat shed. With the frames built, we are on to laminating the keel. When she is complete, we will sail the seven seas in search of adventure. With the forefoot glued to the ballast keel, the remaining ballast keel timbers could be laminated up. Each timber that met the forefoot had to be scarfed to fit snug against it. With the help of my fellow boat building bud Alan Mulholland, a scarfing jig was made to facilitate cutting the angle with a router. In the end, all scarfs were completed, but let's just say there was a big learning curve for me on scarfing with a router jig. Future episodes that cover planking will show how a scarfing jig is made. The scarfs in this case will be done on two plank faces that will be glued together to form a longer continuous plank.
and with a final sanding to smoothen the face to be laminated to the forefoot, the timber was finished. One timber at a time, the ballast keel progressed. Three timbers to go. Two. One. And finally, the ballast keel timbers were gone. Seventeen layers, fully angled to the forefoot, and she was finished. As I was only able to glue a maximum of 12 feet of ballast keel timber at a time, due to the limited number of threaded rod clamps I had on hand, I was able to work on the final two keel sub-assemblies concurrently. First was the 18 foot long lower shaft alley assembly. My handy but not to scale visual of the timbers was always a great reference and before too long the full assembly was completed. Once shaped the center of this 10 foot length of the aft section will be cut out to house the lower shaft alley. while the forward section will be located in the engine room and help form the base of the motor mount. The shaping process should be familiar to most viewers by now. If you are just new to this keel build, head back to episode 15 to learn more about the shaping process. with the upper half of the shaft alley. So to mark the shaft alley, first thing I'm gonna do is just mark a center line. So nine inches wide. So nice simple math. Four and a half. Make a mark, do the same at the other end. Now the shaft alley is two and three quarter inches wide. So <clears throat> I mark uh, one and three eighths either side. Snap chalk lines down either side. That'll mark the outside of the sh shaft alley. And then because half the shaft alley is gonna be here, half the shaft alley is gonna be on here. So I'll go half the depth on this piece so I'll go one and three eighths depth and then what I'll do is I'll just use my circular saw to it should give me a fairly flat smooth 
interior that's been hogged out. Now I'll need obviously a little bit of touch up and then I'll put two or three coats of epoxy on the inside because once glued on top of each other <laughs> there's no getting back inside here. So again one and three eighths either side. Definitely want to double check this. Not a time to screw up with measurements. Let's do the on the other side. It's a good idea to see the line you're cutting along. All right, so here we go. Rather important cut. And then I'll make the same cut on the bottom half of the shaft log assembly and then these two once they're all hogged out will fit together I'll have a two and three quarter by two and three quarter square shaft log now I want to get this cut right straight line is is uh, preferable so I've uh, put a guide along here that I've measured a few times let's just say a few times let's get going and I've previously adjusted the height of my circ saw to that one three eighths depth. So here we go. So now I'll switch the guide over to make the cut on the opposite side and then knowing I have uh, those are the two outer sides um, then I'll just use the circ saw to keep uh, cutting out the interior. Dang, they even look straight. Cleaning about one eighth of an inch at a time meant about 20 passes to clean the entire two and three quarter inch width. Then a good sanding removed the rough guts. And finally three coats of West Systems epoxy with a sanding between the coats. 
Last epoxy coating for the lower shaft log. A match made in heaven. Now on to the final piece, the horn timber. You know the drill by now. With the final lamination glue up complete, it was the time to tuck it in to the warm heating hut for the evening. Apply the template, mark an outline, cut and sand to shape. Sure felt good to cross off the tenth and final keel subassembly. And Tallulah Bean was happy too, though not too happy with the price of all that casco fan epoxy. In the seventh and final keel build episode, the top of the gantry crane is finished and all those subassemblies are attached from stem to stern. Thanks for joining me for this episode. For a front row seat on this do-it-yourself boat build project, please like, subscribe, and be notified on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to the Ambler Odysseys. Till next time, toodly-doo.